Hey, welcome back subscribers. I'm just uh, giving you an update on my uh, hospital status here. So it is uh, Wednesday and I've been here since Sunday. Uh, recap for those who don't know, I thought I broke my back. And so I got uh, transported to the hospital on a, a backboard and a neck brace and stuff. And I ended up not breaking my back, but I did have a, uh, I broke my scapula in half, which is known as a shoulder blade, if you don't know. Um, I have a broken collarbone, which is that one right there. It's completely broken in half. I have uh, four broken ribs, two through six. Um, I had a partially collapsing lung and my lungs are also bruised. And then I have abrasions and bruising on my left side. Uh, so yeah, I was in uh, uh, quite a bit of a, a predicament there for a while and they thought that uh, my lung was might heal on its own but it was continuing to collapse a little bit so i got a chest tube installed and a thing to uh like drain my lung and reinflate my lung so i'm about ready to get another x-ray for that because uh, it seems like my lung like it was a successful surgery and my lung has um reinflated and uh, yeah, it's, it's sealed, I guess, now. And so I don't really know what punctured it or what happened. Uh, probably just one of the ribs, like maybe poked a hole in it. I don't really know. But I had the surgery last night. Um, went really well. I went on a really, really wild trip. I think it was uh, ketamine is what they gave me. The anesthesiologist gave me. And man, whew. It was uh, it was like dying. I wasn't seeing the light, but uh, I was on a real, real kind of bad trip. I was like, my body was like a Rubik's cube or something. I don't know how to explain it to you, but I was made out of like squares, and the squares were getting smaller, and it's like everything was like vibrating and intense, and I was like this, I don't know, cube thing flying down a. a tunnel made out of different colors and it was like real like three-dimensional matrix type crap it was just quite the trip and I was I could hear all the voices um, in the room and like my my mouth and everything was made out of like cubes or made out of a cube it was like I was a big big block of stone or something I don't know how to explain it but um, I remember saying I'm dying I'm dying and uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was pretty whacked. And then uh, I was struggling to breathe, which is probably because he was shoving a plastic hose into my lung. But uh, that's where I'm at. He said that uh, everything is good, I'm improving. I had a really, really bad neighbor in my room for a while, so I'm in a private room now. Uh, the guy was an absolute uh, Debbie Downer. I could not deal with his BS anymore, and my I was actually going backwards. My blood pressure was going up because I pretty much wanted to put him out of his misery with my phone cord. <laughs> and I mean, it was it was bad. So, got my own private room now. Everybody's honky dory. I would uh, be replying to you guys and stuff online, but uh, my phone decided it was a good weekend for the battery to fail, so I pretty much have to leave it plugged in all the time. And I don't have a charge cord at the moment. Uh, my friend is bringing me one here this afternoon. So maybe I can uh, update you guys and answer some of your, your questions and things like that on the, in the comments. But um, um, right, as of right now, I can, I can barely reply to my family except for through the landline here. And then I have to give my phone to the nurse's station because there's, I live on an island. There's no cords for sale in the gift shop or anything like that. It's, it's, it's kind of kind of weird but anyway I just wanted to uh, update you guys and show you what I had going on I don't know if I can show you my tube or not but anyway there's a there's a plastic tube in my chest <laughs> and uh, they got me on they tried a whole bunch of different kinds of painkillers on me I don't know what's gonna happen when I get home but um, most of the painkillers don't really work on me so I was I was not on painkillers for one one of the days and then once i had the bad neighbor i was like i started to get in pain just because he was just dragging my energy down and um yeah so 
my last video at the beginning where I was real stoned. I was on, I can't remember what I was on. I was on a, uh, I always forget the name of it, but anyway, it was an injectable and uh, I've been on all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I just want to live uh, from about five minutes now. This is probably getting long and boring, but uh, I wanted to check in with you guys and uh, I'll reply to your comments and questions and stuff uh, when I have the ability with uh, with the phone. So thanks for watching. Take care.